Hey guys, Kira8428 here, back with another video, and today we're drawing Big Brother himself, Ing Sok. And honestly, I'm kind of, I find it very funny that I was probably gonna draw Ing Sok last, because I couldn't be bothered to deal with the armor situation he had going on. <laughs> but I mean, here we are anyway, so, you know. Eh, but... I think, though, the drawing ended up being really good, at least after I did a bunch of color balancing and stuff, because it it's not the best in the quote-unquote final drawing in the thing. Um, I honestly ended up not liking the coloring a lot, and so I just um, did a bunch of more balancing off camera, and also I fixed the VI thing because it was way too bright, and so I it ended up being serviced by dimming it down a lot and not doing exactly what I did when I drew cult, um, communalism. So, you know, eh. But, you know, for the next few videos, more than likely, you're gonna be getting quite a bit of <laughs> Pialicide content because I want to draw the main four. So, you know. But, you know, more than likely, the one that's gonna be next is Darwinism, then, um, egoism and then probably i'm gonna draw regular communalism because yeah because <laughs> don't get me wrong i love the cult communalism drawing but it's certainly gonna be more extra than the other ones like it's not gonna be as shiny and ex ex no it's gonna end up being more shiny and extravagant than the other set i'm gonna be drawing so why not just draw regular communalism to go with it? So, but I don't know if that's going to be another video as well or not yet. We'll see. But more than likely, we're going to end up with quite a bit of Realicide content at the end of this. If we're temporarily a Realicide fan channel, it's fine. <laughs> but, I mean, despite the many hiccups that came with this, like, somehow figuring out how to do this armor thing, um, and the eye thing. And I think some other small bits I ended up having to fix. Um, I'm not sure if they're in the video or not, but some other small things I had to fix to make it look good. Um, besides that, I ended up really, really liking how it turned out. It's just a fun little thing, I guess. I don't know. The... Yeah, the whole drawing though, like, um, man, my brain's not here. It's eight in the morning. I just woke up, <laughs> but like, I don't know. The whole drawing though, I'm like happy with, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, like I said, the probably next is going to be Darwinism, who pose is killing me so instead of it being after the sketching portion and stuff because the sketching for this actually went pretty okay the, um, the sketching for darwinism is pain and i don't know why i don't know if it's because of like um scars and stuff necessarily or what but that's gonna be a whole other thing i don't know we'll see somehow i'm not surprised darwinism being difficult this way <laughs> but yeah then I haven't started on egoism yet because, because, but I'm probably going to do them next. I just realized I'm doing these in the order of the freaking off compass bars, but you know, <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, I love that. And uh, speaking of a bop, I approve of it highly. Yeah. Um, the... Um, uh, I just, I don't know. When it comes to drawing these characters, though, I do appreciate that they have the same face. It makes this significantly easier, except for when they look too different. But, eh, because trying to make, I think, again, Darwinism, trying to make him look like the other two so far has been pain because of the scars on his face and certain things like that. And just, he, he just looks more feral. He radiates feral energy. So, which, again, we'll see. But that's not what we're talking about right now. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I know, but um, with Ink Sock too, um, I got super, super bored too while waiting to like get back home and like work on the drawing and like finish it and stuff. So I ended up listening to fucking um, the first chapter of 1984 because why not? I haven't listened to or read a book in a long time because English is dead to me. But, yeah, because I don't, because I never even read um, Animal Farm in school when it was assigned to us because I couldn't be bothered. And uh, allegedly it's problematic, but whatever. Uh, I still own it. I don't know where it is because I don't care. <laughs> When it came to a lot of certain books, uh, especially ones are school assigned, most of them were pretty bad. I say bad, most of them just weren't interesting to a bunch of high school students. Namely, um, Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, my class literally boycotted because they hated the books so much, which, you know. Though, I think, but like, it's not like we didn't like reading. Um, we read Fahrenheit 451, and the entire class really enjoyed the book. I know I really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed Fahrenheit 451. I think I enjoyed The Odyssey. I don't remember reading The Iliad because it was senior year, and at that point I couldn't be bothered. But, eh. <laughs> I don't know. Still passed the class. Still passed it pretty well. So, you know, eh. But, yeah, no, it was not a fan. I'm even more upset, though, because the last book we were supposed to read was, um, uh... Dante's Inferno, but we never got to, and that was the one book I was looking forward to reading that year because I was curious, but like, I wanted the old timey fan fiction, but no, instead, um, COVID happened, so yeah, th thanks, COVID. You're still taking away things that I wanted in life. Great, <laughs> but yeah, no, but aside from that. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, in junior high, I really enjoyed reading The Giver. The Giver was actually really, really good to me. I did not enjoy the movie we watched after, which I now understand that feeling of book nerds have, where it's like, the book was better than the movie, but eh. Eh. I mean, honestly, by itself, it might have been an okay movie. I don't know. I don't remember it very well. I just remember not liking it. <laughs> I don't know. It just it had a very different vibe to me than the book itself, but eh. And I think between The Giver and Fahrenheit 451, and I think The Outsider, which I remember nothing about anymore, but I remember I liked it enough to read it consistently, so. But besides those books, like, um, I didn't really care for most of the stuff our school gave us to read. Usually I'd read my own things or whatever, but, um, I don't know. And our library had weird books a lot of the times, uh, especially junior high and high school. It was strange. But, eh. but yeah, no, so, books, and then I'm listening to 1984, because why not? It's... It's just, it's, it's a book so far. It's a book. I, d I mean, the writing style's not painful. But like, there's plenty of things, like stories that I enjoy, but the writing style I just can't get behind. Like, um, I love the, I love the plot lines and stuff to Stephen King books. I can't read them. And that upsets a lot of people I tell that to, but I can't read Stephen King books. It, it just doesn't happen. They're so wordy. Like, not in the good way. I don't know, it reminds me of Charles Dickens for some reason, and that upsets me. Which is even more upsetting, because, again, I love the stories and stuff. If I can get through, like, a good chunk of the work at some point, I do enjoy reading it. Um, yeah, because Mother was a big fan of them, and we had a lot of the books lying around. Um, I know we had Stand for certain, and, um couple other ones. Um, I think mom bought her his most recent-ish one, at least recent at the time she bought it. Um, was it, what is it, Revival or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, no. 
So, I, I don't know. Maybe I need to give him another chance, but more than likely, I just, I can't read them. Which is funny, too, because I can read, um, H.P. Lovecraft books. Which is, I don't, I don't know why, but I can. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's the specific brand, the breed, breed branch, one of those words, of horror that it is, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I see- sometimes I feel like I'm more of a dystopian novel person than a horror novel person, given how, like, the kind of books I remember enjoying a lot. Usually, uh, dystopians, um, anything about, like, fucking serial killers. Like, there was a book I read, and I forgot the name of it, that was very, like, Dexter-esque in nature that I enjoyed, it was pretty good, that I found, of all places, in my, um, high school library. It was either high school or junior high. I think it was high school, though. There were a lot of books that were weird, and I just, I, I don't know. But they were good books. I enjoyed reading them. I kind of wish I could have gotten some of them, like, actually. But, eh. Though I will say, I think there was a point where I stopped getting books from my school library because people started talking to me about them, and I just couldn't have that. So, uh, but yeah, no. Mmm, beyond that, though, like, I don't know. I'm more of a TV person than a book or a movie person, even. I don't watch movies often unless someone is forcing me to do so, which my boy has been forcing me to do so, so, because I... In, um, to put that into pr perspective, I only recently start, uh, watched and, yeah, I only recently watched Pulp Fiction, so, you know, good, good, that's great. But it was honestly a very good movie, I enjoyed it a lot. But, yeah, no, I don't, I don't watch movies. I don't watch movies, I barely read books, I mostly watch TV shows. Like, TV shows, a lot, um, I think recently I'm finished, um, you the netflix series that is like had mixed opinions from anyone i asked who'd seen it very mixed eh, i enjoyed it honestly so far i don't know if they're getting a third season i'm curious if they do eh. but i don't know that um what else did i watch recently i've been rewatching hannibal with my boy because it's just a very good series it's like a very good series. It's one of my favorite series of all time. And what else, what, other, what else have I watched recently? Oh, and he's been showing me this show called C, which is okay, I guess. I don't know if it's my speed of show, honestly. I'm more of a character-focused person than a world-building-focused person. I mean, the characters are interesting, I guess. A lot of them are mildly annoying to me for whatever reason but eh i don't know it's an okay show i don't know if it's something i could actively want like binge watch though at least not i don't know maybe on my own time i, I don't know i don't know but eh, the yeah you know i think though that's the main things we're watching mostly though i've been um convincing the boy to watch more anime recently we've um, I think we finished season two of Mob Psycho. And whenever season three comes out, that'll happen. And, oh yeah, fuck. Uh, part six of JoJo's will be coming out soon, and I am excited and intrigued. And I have high standards, because of course I do. It's JoJo's. But, eh, I am hyped for when that happens. I'm just, I just don't want another disappointment in the long list of disappointments that has been the past year and a bit. Because Cyberpunk was a complete letdown, as we all know. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 still hasn't come out yet, so who knows? Apparently it's been picked up by another company, so I'm afraid. And just, it's, it's just been rough. And I just want something nice for once. But whatever. Also, this is the part I was talking about with the eye thing. Of how <clears throat> too bright. It ends up being way too bright. I don't know. It's not as bad in post. Kind of. 
but I still don't like it. I still prefer the dimmed more version that I do later. You'll see when it happens. But yeah, no, I'm I'm hoping for I'm hoping for good content. I just want Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines to be good. I I just want it to be good. Please, please, please. Thank you, world. Thank you. I am so afraid for a video game that hasn't even come out yet. So, yay! But, I don't know. Beyond that, um, I swear I was going to talk about something else, like, relevant, and I've forgotten. So, you know, I know. here's the whole thing with the colors as well that I just couldn't get right. Because it just felt too bright to be ink sock if that makes any sense. It, it was just too bright in colors and everything, and I just didn't like it very much. So, you know. It, it was a... It was a time. You know. But, either way, um, you'll see when we get there, but we're approaching the end of the video, so I guess we'll start wrapping up here. Um, I hope you enjoyed... I hope you enjoyed my book and TV rant, for which was most of this video. <laughs> and, like, all that stuff and whatever. Um, if you hear beeps in the background, I'm sorry. People are starting to wake up. But, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, do all the YouTube things. And, yeah. That's basically it. Um, uh, check out my DeviantArt if you want to see the many drawings that I'm going to be posting for the time being. And, yeah, beyond that, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. And have a nice day.